The Earth and Tube has been a long-term project at Schreiber. The insiders of you may know that we already introduced a similar tube in 2015. However, this tube haven't satisfied us. So we turned every stone around and started a new cooperation with the chemical company BASF and a German extrusion expert. And finally, we also have the Novum that is the first time that we're producing a product here at our main quarter in Reishof. In an early stage of the project, we found out that the aerotherm material is very complex. So we not only hired German experts to, to enter the project, but also had the idea in mind to build up a new production line here in Germany, in Reishof, to shorten the process, but also have the full control of the engineering, but also of the end product. And we have our lab here. So each single process, but also each single tube can be controlled and we have a very short feedback loop to improve the production. We didn't only focus on performance, but also on a major topic in these days, the sustainability. That means that we are able to reduce the waste of resources. For example, we don't have to use any carbon black, which is normally used at raw production. Furthermore, we see a big potential to use aerotherm material for future products. The new way of partnering with German expertise companies enabled us to have a complete new approach also for the production side. That means that it's the first time that we're producing the item here at our site. To give you a picture of the complete production, that means that we're going to start with BASF, who's going to, to produce and manufacture the TPU material, so the aerotel material, and followed by the extrusion by our German expertise. Furthermore, we built up a complete new semi-automatic production line, which is particularly based on laser technology that is completely worldwide unique, but also patented by our side. And the, the most important point is the seam of the tube. That means that we are able to have a very strong seam but also very smooth, which is very important for a good function in the tube. Schwalbe is particularly known for its expertise in tubeless technology. So in the beginning of the project, we are wondering how we can develop a tube that is comparable to tubeless. So we don't have only the numbers in lab, but also the, the riding performance. And finally, we, we are really happy that we have a product, a tube, that is performing very well, no matter where and what you ride. No matter what bike you ride, road racing, mountain bike, gravel or touring, we have three exceptional performance features for the Aeroton tube. The first thing is the rolling resistance. So we have a perfect form fit between the tube and the carcass to reduce the abrasion between tube and the tire. That means the rolling resistance is comparable to a tubeless system. Despite the low weight, the Aeroton tube is very resistant against snake bites. So that means it, that you can ride the same pressure that you normally go for tubeless without having the fear of puncturing. Furthermore, the high tension of the Aeroton material reduces the risk of burping. Especially important for the use of rim brakes, which is particularly important for road bikes and touring bikes, is the heat resistance. And with the airtime material, we are able to develop a material that is real resistance against heat, so you can go on long descents without fearing a blowout. With all these aspects, you may ask yourself what's the best, tubeless or airtime tube? No matter what you choose, we at Travel have the best solution for both technologies. The airtime tube production is fully running since a few months, so the warehouse is full. And for more information, please check at strava.com slash The new Arafan tube from Schwalbe. Distinctly different.